Hey everyone, Mark Saltzman here, taking a look at the new Nintendo Switch video game console and portable gaming system in one. It is $299 US, $399 Canadian. Sorry if you're watching this from Europe or Asia or South America. I don't know the prices locally, but I'm sure you can figure that out pretty easily. But this is what it looks like here. So we're gonna do sort of a fake unboxing. That is, I've already taken the Switch out and have played around with it, but I realized, oh, I should probably do an unboxing video for YouTube. So I put it back, uh, but full disclosure, full transparency, this is not a true unboxing, but I know I'm so bad at putting uh, electronics and, and gaming uh, systems back into the box. Uh, that's a skill in and of itself, so just a heads up. But I did my best, so I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna walk you through basically what you get with the Nintendo Switch, and we'll look at each uh, component piece by piece. So just to step back for a moment, as I mentioned, the Nintendo Switch is not the successor to the Wii U, nor is it the follow-up or the, uh, the, the answer to the 3DS. It is a combination of the two. The idea is that when you're at home, you can play the Nintendo Switch on your TV like a video game console, but then you can also take it with you to go. It's battery powered, and you can play it like a portable gaming system, say in the back of a car or on an airplane. Um, so you can choose how you wanna play it. So uh, I, you probably know that already, but I thought I would just state the obvious. Uh, before we get to the uh, task at hand, which is unboxing the Nintendo Switch. This is what the North American packaging looks like. Pretty uh, minimalist, you basically just see the console in the dock, which is what's used to play it on a TV. So without further ado, let's do it. I'm gonna open it up from the bottom. I'm gonna show you the eight different things that you get. And I will hold it up because I am shooting this by myself today, so I don't have any help for close-ups or anything. So you've got the obligatory documentation, uh, the startup guide. This is the Nintendo Switch, which we'll take it out of the wrapper and we'll look at it. So this is the screen right here. This is the console, which has already been powered up. So I'll uh, just turn it on for you. I was playing Zelda. But without having the Joy-Con controllers in the side, there's little you can do at this point. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll show you that in a moment uh, to continue playing. So it's not communicating with the controllers. But this is what it looks like here. Uh, the game cartridges go in the upper right. The upper uh, left has the power button and the uh, volume control buttons. Underneath is the USB type C port. So that's what it's using to charge up. And uh, there's also expandable memory and a, a little um, kickstand. So you can put it down on a desk or on your tray table in an airplane and play wirelessly with your Joy-Con controllers, which I'll show you when it's in what's called the Joy-Con grip. We'll get to that in a moment. But uh, this is what it looks like right here. And uh, we are now gonna go take a look at the Joy-Con controller. So I'm gonna just put this down right here, move this out of the way, open it up. Okay, so the Joy-Con controllers are right here. It is two parts, left and right, which snap into one, or each person, if you're playing a multiplayer game, can, can, can hold each of these. So these have each an analog stick, as you can see, and some buttons as well. And you slide these, when you're playing this on the go, you slide these into the side of the switch. So it easily snaps in, just like so. It does obviously add some width to the uh, system, and then it allows you to play your games. And you've got your trigger buttons on top, your shoulder buttons as well, I forgot to mention. And you're ready to go, so we can launch uh, Zelda, which is what's playing on right here. So this is the Joy-Con system where it snaps in and this is how you play it on the go. Now let's take a look at some of the other components you get in the box and uh, which are lean more towards uh, stationary play, playing on your TV. So underneath where the, uh, where the switch was and the two Joy-Con controllers is an HDMI cable, which uh, is of course for audio and video to plug into any TV. They, there is the AC plug, which isn't too exciting, but it is, uh, as I mentioned, USB type C. So you would plug this either the uh, switch into the wall directly, or this plugs into the um, docking station that I'm gonna show you in a moment. So it's just a standard uh, AC plug. Let's take a look at that docking station. So this is the base that you keep plugged into your TV uh, when, um, you know, at all times, and even when you take the switch with you to go, this stays in it. So this is what it looks like here. I'll just hold it up and down so you can see the logo on the top. 
The back opens up and this is where you plug in the AC adapter. I'm not sure if you can see that from there. The USB port here for charging and HDMI out there. And there's also two uh, female HDMI ports there if you want to connect other accessories like controllers that need to be charged up. So when this pl is plugged into your TV with that HDMI cable, you then, you just drop the switch in and it starts charging up the, uh, this, the, the, ba the switch because this is plugged into the wall and it'll immediately appear on your TV. It's too bad, however, that you can't see the screen because it would have been kind of cool if you were able to use that second screen for something during gameplay like the Wii U had. So whether it's a map or your character stats or spells or what have you, it would have been neat to be able to see the screen, but unfortunately it's blocked when you dock it in there. So this is basically how it works. And you can use now, you can do one of two things to control the game when it's played on your TV. The first thing you can do is we're going to look at this uh, Joy-Con grip that comes with the Nintendo Switch. As you can see, it looks like a controller, but without any buttons. It just has the, the grip part, hence the name. So what you want to do then is so you press a button on each side of the uh, Nintendo Switch to release the grip, the Joy-Cons rather, and then you snap the Joy-Cons into the grip. And this now turns those two small Joy-Con controllers into one. So this now lets you play the game when it's on your TV or when you have the switch uh, held up by a kickstand on the go. So this is maybe on an airplane uh, tray. It shows you the power, the green lights, if you can see them right there, for each Joy-Con and it'll tell you when it's time to plug it in. And this is what you can use to play the game on your TV as one. Or again, if it's a multiplayer game like we're gonna look at one in a moment called One Two Switch, each person then takes a little mini Joy-Con to control the action but this is what it looks like here. So that's everything you get in the box. That is everything you get for, uh, oh, sorry, there's actually one more thing. I stand corrected. You also get these, uh, not, that, not that everyone's gonna use them, but you also get two straps that uh, plug, uh, that snap into the Joy-Con controllers, wrist straps, just like the Nintendo Wii back in the day, if you remember playing Wii Bowling, you're encouraged to use the straps so you don't uh, uh, fly that uh, controller through your TV screen. Um, so this is also the same thing that you would get to snap into the Joy-Cons to put around your wrist. So they do include that, uh, Nintendo does include that in the box. So that's everything. That's the Joy-Con uh, controllers and the grip. This is the Nintendo Switch base station or cradle for your TV. You get the HDMI cable, you get the uh, power, the AC plug, of course, that's a, that's a must, and the star of the show, the Nintendo Switch. So this is it right here, that bad boy. Now, if you're playing on your TV, some people have said, you know, even with this grip, the controller doesn't feel good enough for long-term play. So Nintendo does sell, it's an optional accessory, this Pro Controller, this Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. So I'll show you what it looks like here. It does not come with it unless it's part of a, a bundle at retail, but here is the uh, cable, the USB Type-C cable to charge up this wireless controller. And then inside is the full-size Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, designed specifically for the Nintendo Switch. So this is what it looks like here, pretty classic of a controller. I haven't used this one here, but I've been to a couple of Nintendo events and at E3 where I've used this to play Zelda. Uh, and this is more, way more comfortable uh, and with a better battery than using the Joy-Con controllers in the grip. So this is what I would prefer uh, and it does feel pretty good. You've got the standard analog buttons, the four-way directional pad, the face buttons, and of course all the trigger and um, shoulder buttons, a home button and, and so on and so forth. So that is optional. And then finally, let's just take a look at uh, what the game cartridges look like. So Nintendo only sent me two games to play with. I do really like Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is what I've been playing with the most, but this is a, a fun mini multiplayer game, mini games for multiplayer uh, play. It's called One Two Switch with uh, I think like 28 different mini games, including Milking a Cow, which you've probably seen uh, on YouTube. But the the game, um, the memory uh, cards look like micro, or sorry, regular SD cards. So as you can see, it's about the size of a postage stamp and they snap into the top right of the Nintendo Switch. So it is inside of the case here uh, and that's basically all you got. Um, so not 
that like it is smaller of course than the 3ds cartridges but that's the idea and then this is the zelda there so there you have it a look at the nintendo switch from nintendo it's both a home console and a portable gaming system in one 299 us 399 canadian i'm mark saltzman thanks for watching we'll see you next time